Joe Biden. To President Biden's critics, it was the latest reason to question his state of mind. The president appearing to look in the audience for a congresswoman who died nearly two months ago and to call out to her. And I want to thank all of you here for including bipartisan elected officials like Representative Governor, Senator Braun, Senator Booker, Representative Jackie, are you here? Where's Jackie? I didn't think she was, she was going to be here. Congresswoman Jackie Walorski died in a car crash on August 3rd, along with two staffers, while traveling in her district. She had worked on hunger issues that were the focus of the White House event. But the moment quickly went viral. White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre forced to explain. What happened in the hunger event today? The president appeared to look around the room uh, for an audience member, a member of Congress who passed away last month. The president was naming uh, the congressional champions on this issue and was acknowledging her incredible work. He had, uh, he had already uh, planned to welcome the congresswoman's family uh, to the White House on Friday. There will be a, a bill signing in her honor this coming Friday. Uh, so, of course, she was on his mind. She was of top of mind uh, for the president. Top of mind, but alive and at the White House? That response only creating more questions, like why the White House wouldn't acknowledge what seemed obvious to most, that the president had simply slipped up. Thank but you. I think the confusing part is why, if she and the family is top of mind, does the president think that she's living and in the room? I don't find that confusing. Moments of confusion are happening with the reason. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. For years, Biden's opponents have questioned whether he still has the mental acuity to be president. At 79, Biden is the oldest president in U.S. history. This guy doesn't have a clue. He doesn't know where the hell he is. And Biden's occasional verbal missteps have given his critics plenty of fodder, like when he seems to announce he has cancer. That's why I and so damn many other people I grew up have cancer. And why can't for the longest time Delaware had the highest cancer rate in the nation. The White House quickly clarified he was referring to skin cancer that was removed before he became president. As the 2024 election gets closer, Biden's aides vigorously defend his mental and physical health, even when Republicans made hay over this presidential fall in July. First of all, I'm glad to have a president who can ride a bicycle. Health the president of the, the United States including is text as messages vigorous a from your private or phone. boss as I have I ever had the pleasure this. of working with. Josh Letterman joins us now from Washington. Josh, is there any reason why the press secretary wouldn't just admit the president was confused or simply made a mistake? It felt like we've seen this movie before and Joe Biden campaigned on being a president who would return dignity and, in his words, ethics to the White House. Well, the White House press secretary, Karine Jean-Pierre, was asked that very question today, Tom, and she said, look, she knows people don't like the answer they've provided, but it is not going to change. She says the White House view on this is that President Biden simply had the congresswoman top of mind. But look, the White House clearly knows that Republicans want to pounce on this issue ahead of the midterms and then the 2024 election to make President Biden look uh, questionable about his efficacy for office. They do not want to do anything or consider seed anything that might play into that argument, Tom. And then finally, Josh, you know, the president is obviously dealing with the response to Hurricane Ian, but has he himself been asked about this yet? President Biden has not been asked about this, but the White House says he does plan to meet with members of Jackie Walorski's family this week, Tom. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.